Good morning, my name is Luis. I'm an intern here at Calvary Chapel Rosarito and a future church planner. And this is today's good news, Christmas edition. So today we'll be looking at Matthew chapter 1, verses 20 and 21. Now, as I was going over these, these verses and I was looking at the birth of Jesus, I was thinking about Christmas and presents and the activities that are going on around us at home here at the church. And I was thinking about presents and I was reminded of a movie called Kung Fu Panda. And in this movie, there's an old wise turtle and the old wise turtle says something very interesting. He says, the past is behind us. The future is unknown, but now is a gift, and that's why it's the present. Now is a gift, and that's why it's the present. And the gift for us and the present for us is knowing what we're celebrating, knowing why we're celebrating Christmas, the birth of Jesus Christ. For us Christians, we believe everything that the Bible tells us about a virgin birth. We believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and, and, and was raised again. So today we'll be looking at verses 21, 20 and 21. So follow along with me at home in your Bibles, please. And it reads like this. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you will give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sin. So here we see that uh, um, jo Joseph is considering. He's considering what's going on. His wife is pregnant. He's betrothed. He's been uh, preparing to marry this woman, building a house, getting ready to union, come to union with her. And in the Jewish days, they would set a, a, a couple up to get married, but they would have a time of preparation. He would, he would build a house, and she would stay with her mother and prepare to learn to be a housewife, learn to be a woman who took care of her husband. So we have Joseph building and, and wait, waiting to receive his wife, and he receives the news that Mary is pregnant. Now, something very interesting is we see that Joseph doesn't go asking people what's going on. He doesn't go get into gossip. He doesn't go get into uh, um, rumors. He sits and considers what's going on. He's praying. He's sitting quietly before the Lord. He's stilling his heart. And when we still our heart, the Lord will give us a answer. The Lord will answer our prayers. The Lord will come and give us a message. And in this case, in, in, Joseph's, in Joseph's case, an angel comes to him in a dream and tells him, don't be afraid. Joseph, don't be afraid. Son of David. He reminds him, son of David, you are from the line of the Judah tribe where the promise was given to David. That there will always be a king on the throne of Judah. And this king is Jesus Christ, you guys. This king that, that, that we have in our lives is the same king that was going to remain on the throne of the family of David. And it's reminded right here, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid would, to take Mary home. Don't be afraid to take Mary home. What is in her is from the Holy Spirit. So we see Jesus in the midst of this story. We see Jesus moving in the life, coming into life before he's even alive. The Spirit is moving in this story. So she says, so it says in verse 21, she will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Jesus, the name above all names. He came to save us from our sin. He came to free us from the chains of, of sin and captivity and wherever we might find ourselves today where we're struggling with something, where we find ourselves with a difficult situation, where we find ourselves uh, uh, caught up or, or getting involved in rumors or, or, or gossips, we can consider Jesus. We can consider God and coming to the Lord before the throne and asking him, Lord, I'm struggling with this. Lord, help me with this. Lord, I need you. I need you in my life. And Jesus comes into our life in the spirit and he gives us freedom. He frees us from fear. He gives us everything we need to walk in victory. So today, you guys, the gift, the present, what we have in our lives as Christians is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came for us, came for us, the sinner, to save us from our ways, our old ways. And born again in Christ, we're able to walk in victory. We're able to walk according to the will of God. And that's today's good news.